that's another good one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. Oh, could be in a pussy. <laughs> Great fish. Yeah, we definitely had to earn it this trip though. Uh, went through a lot of gear, got hung up, lost a couple fish. Uh, had to deal with the authorities, being crafty in the nighttime. Uh, but that's the way it goes usually with big fish and just fishing in general. Usually the fish gods will kind of make you earn it, especially for the big dogs. You either have to wait them out or you're going through gear. Or, you know, something, or the weather's crappy. And one thing that we noticed, we were originally had sucker cup bait and uh, shad sides out there, and we had worms as well. We got hits on all of them, but it seemed like the uh, sucker seemed to be the preferred bait, at least for last night. We eventually made the wholesale switch to all four rods with uh, the sucker meat on them. Most of them was on. I think the only fish we, we got a 20 pounder on Shad. Yep. So that did work, but it seemed like the sucker was working a little bit better. And uh, just to add something to what Chuck was saying about gear, yeah, we did go through it. Here's one of the casualties. This was straight. This is a steel rod. One of our homemade rod holders. Rod holders. So that just goes to show, you know, for these big fish, you need the proper gear. Yeah, it goes to show you that, uh, you know, we use pretty heavy line and, you know, there's a reason for it. When a fish can bend your steel rod holder opposed to breaking your line, that's why we do it. Something I like to mention about the cut bait that we were talking about, you know, we always say to use cut bait, but lately we've been trying to bring several kinds of cut bait and just because of that reason last night we were able to get into fish. Just because we say cut bait doesn't mean you necessarily have to bring one flavor of cut bait. You can bring, you know, several flavors of cut bait or, so, or kinds of cut bait. And, you know, it, it gives you a little more options because, you know, you never know. They might not just be hitting on shad that night and just prefer sucker. And if you don't have it, then you wouldn't know. You might just think this, the fish is bad. So that's something to think about when you're buying cut bait. Shoot, you could put a different style of bait on every rod. Keep doing that until you start getting hits, and hopefully that'll give you an idea as to what they're leaning towards. Well, look for some more updates throughout the season. Uh, the next uh, update might be kind of slow. We're kind of <laughs> kind of banged it up tonight, so it's hard to expect much. <laughs> but man, it was a great trip and uh, lots of hard fishing, but lots of lots of big fish, and it just you know usually they go hand in hand. So don't give up out there and uh, we'll keep you updated and keep you, uh, you know, abreast of what we're doing and how we're doing it. Hopefully it can help you guys out there. Urban anglers. Or, uh, fish on.